Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 3, The Sleeping Dragon. We got attacked in the last episode and we died for the first time, but we didn't come up empty-handed. We found a safe, which we don't know the combination to yet. Uh, we also got a bank statement and a newspaper, uh, which I think we looked at, didn't we? We looked at the newspaper, I believe. It was the front sheet of an old newspaper. Yeah. So the, the paper old... had more stories about strange weather around the world. That's it. So this strange weather seems to be a, a plot point, I'm guessing. The bank statement... According to the bank statement, Vernon Blier was pretty short of money. So that's... Maybe that's why he'd planned on selling his story. So that's the hacker guy. And we found this wig as well, which is pretty much exactly the same as Nico's hair. The label inside had been cut out. The killer had covered her tracks. Ah, that's Almost. a shame. There were a few strands of blonde hair inside. Ooh. So the woman I'm after really has blonde hair, not black. Okay, well, that's a big clue. Can we use that with anything? No. Anything else? It was else? a wig I'd found in a small courtyard. No. Okay, well, so we know that she's actually blonde now as well. Uh, interesting. Can we head out anywhere here? Can we, like, cross the road or anything? Oh, yeah, I think we can, actually. So it looks like there's lots of places to go. Okay, we can't examine that trash can. Right, it turns out this is quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. It's a cafe or something down here. Maybe they saw something. Okay, who's this? Can we talk to this person? Yeah, looks like we can. Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. You are looking for something? I might be. Uh, you have come to the right place. Right place, right guy, huh? That's how it looks to me, too. I'm sure. Were you around a little earlier? Oh, I've been around a while. Oh, that's good. I'm a reporter, and I need to ask you a few questions. Uh, okay. Blonde woman, I guess. Have you seen a blonde woman running by? I haven't seen any women running around. Most babes tend to stop when they see how I can handle a ball. Yeah, I'm sure, mate. I'm sure. Uh, you should get yourself a new photographer, honey. Oh, do you think so? Drop by my studio sometime. Well, this guy's full of crap, isn't he? Okay, the wig? Take a look at this wig. Yeah, nice, but not really my style. I don't know, you haven't tried the it on yet. The woman who wore this has just killed someone. I don't blame her. I'd want to kill someone if I had to wear that wig. It's very rude. Do you happen to know a guy called Vernon? The coder? Yes. Yeah, he's cool. Hangs out in the park with his girlfriend. Oh, we actually knew that, Where's didn't we? Where's the park? Just down there, where Twitcher hangs about. About okay. Vernon? Yeah? I'm afraid he's been killed. Shot. Oh man, that's too bad. Still, a neighborhood like this, only the brave survive, huh? Shell casing? Have you seen a shell casing before? Sure. It's from a real gun. Big deal. It was a big deal. For somebody. Yeah, Vernon. So where's your posse? What? Big guy like you? Gotta have a posse, surely. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, uh... I got two. Wow. <laughs> uh, how about you? you? You got a posse? Oh, yeah. But I like to keep it secret. <laughs> got ya. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Wow, what a person. Can we go in here? The door was shut fast and wouldn't open. Okay, no, we can't, it turns out. Uh, okay, we can't look at this. We can cross in the middle of the road. Hopefully we can't get run over or anything. Is there anything else around the building? I just want to make sure that we haven't missed any vital clues. There's another brasserie over there as well. There's quite a few of these. Um, anything this way? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, anything this other way? As I said, this is this game's a lot bigger than I thought in terms of like the spacing of the buildings and the streets and things. Can we... Can we, like, sprint? Doesn't look like we can, actually. What's this? It was the door to Vernon Blier's apartment building. Oh, okay, so that's the way into the apartment building. What's this door, then? It was just a door. 
Nothing particularly special. Well, let's try and open it. Just another locked door. Locked. Anything over here? Something flashing on the floor. That might just be a graphical glitch. I think it is. I like that there's sort of dust coming off her feet. Not, not really sure why that would be the case, but it's, <laughs> it's a nice little detail, I suppose. I couldn't open the door. It was locked. I mean, I said the area is big, but there's a lot of locked doors. Who's this? Somebody sweeping with a broom. Actually, she's not actually sweeping the floor, is she? The broom Bonjour, is hovering. <laughs> Bonjour. I tell you, I've had enough of this job. Why? With the in, the out, the same old drudgery, huh? Why don't you give it up, then? Give it up? Huh? Who do you think you are telling me to give up my job? I right. thought... Thought you were too good for the likes of me, I expect? Okay. No, not at all. I didn't mean... I was a dancer once, you know. At Le Moulin Rouge. So stick that on your velo and ride it. That's... Wonderful. Of course. <laughs> Alphonse, <laughs> he wouldn't have any of it. I'll not have you flushing your nickels out of a Paris, he said. Get a proper job. So I did. A real liberated man. <gasps> he was an angel. I won't hear a word against him. Wow, life story. This wig belongs to someone I'm looking for. Nice. Mm. At Le Moulin Rouge, we always had such beautiful wigs. Have you seen anyone wearing this wig? No. Was she a dancer? I don't know. Something much worse. Pah! A singer, then. <laughs> Alright, let's ask about Vernon. Do you know a young man called Vernon? I'm sure I don't know what you're suggesting. Alright. I'm a married woman. Okay, <laughs> that escalated. you and me, in my dancing days, it was a different matter. Have you seen a young blonde woman by any chance? I certainly have. Skinny looking thing. Like you. Thanks. Okay. Which way did she go? She got into a sports car and drove off. Do you happen to know the make of car? What do you take me for? Some kind of mechanic? You'll have to ask someone else. Fine, okay, but we know that there was a sports car now. It happens to all of us. No one escapes. What do you mean? Look at the picture. Your looks have gone already. Wow. Just what a girl <laughs> likes to hear. Okay, bye. Just one thing. Your husband, Alphonse, is he around? No. I thought perhaps he might have seen something. It's unlikely. Why? He left me 20 years ago. Ran away. Oh. Okay. With a singer? That's amazing. How did you know? <laughs> Intuition. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. Okay, bye-bye. Can we go into here? No, we can't. Alright, it looked like there was somebody down, so I think, didn't the, the skater guy say that was this, this way over here was the way to the park? But I think I saw somebody over this way somewhere? I just actually, while I'm here, I just want to see if there's a sprint button. Right, okay, left shift, there is. Right. Fine. So. Left shift. Ah, there we go. Whoa, that's that's an interesting run mechanic. <laughs> okay, fine. But, you know, it'll do. Um, yeah, there's somebody over... Th I considered leaving the area. So we can go to our apartment. Uh, I, d I don't but really want... But decided to remain here. I, d I don't really want to do... Is this the park? This actually looks kind of like a park. Hello? Bonjour. Yes. I wonder if you can help me. I doubt it. And anyway, I'm on duty. It's pretty quiet this morning. It's Sunday. What do you expect? On duty doing what exactly? Blonde woman. Did you see a blonde woman run past a little earlier? Maybe. Maybe not. Helpful. I need to find her. It's important. I'm sure it is. She killed a man in the apartments over there. How very dramatic. It was for the guy she killed. <laughs> no one seems phased about the fact that somebody was murdered along here. Do you happen to know a young computer programmer called Vernon? Is he the one who got himself killed? Good guess. It wasn't exactly a lifestyle choice, you know. I find sarcasm to be a particularly low form of wit, madame. Right. Dark wig? Take a look at this wig. Very interesting. As wigs go. I found it. Well. Aren't you the clever one? God, she's really rude. It belonged to the killer. 
The woman who wore this has just killed someone. Fascinating. The man who just parked here is going to get a ticket. Oh, I wonder Please, if that... Madame, I'm being serious. Okay, I wonder if that could be our person in the sports car. Did you happen to see a sports car earlier? That is official business, and it's going to stay that way. Oh, come on. Take a look at this. Interesting. 12 millimeter and recently fired. Okay. That's right. But how do you know about firearms? Let us just say I have not always been a traffic warden. What else can you tell me about it? From the head stamp, manufactured in Prague. And the gun itself? The new Magnum, if I'm not wrong. Okay, that's you impressive. You can tell all that from the shell? You just have to know what to look for. It came from the gun of the woman who tried to kill me. This is not a Saturday night special. You are leaning, I think, with professional killers. Oh, good. Can just what we wanted. Fire away. Ha! My little joke. Okay, now all of a sudden, she might help. Did you see a blonde woman running by here earlier? Yes. Around your size. Wow. Good build, muscle tone, shoe size three, maybe four, and I think not French. That's amazing. No, not amazing. Just good training. Training? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to tell you anything more. So she was obviously like a police or detective or something. About this wig. It belonged to the killer. So, you really are connected with the shooting. That's right. And I need all the help I can get. I mean, I feel like we should probably report the murder to the police, though. It's been a little while. Did you see a sports car earlier? I see a lot of sports cars in the course of a day. Okay. If you had some details, I could help. Uh, well, I, d I don't really. Bah! What does this prove? Any fool can throw together a fake ID. True. But only a real fool would impersonate a journalist at my paper. Hmm. Okay, well, so... Thanks for your help. I Goodbye. Guess, I guess we need... Okay, so it looks like we can go into the park and there's somebody in there. Perhaps that's Vernon's girlfriend. I, I wonder if the guy over here... We're a little bit stuck. I wonder if the, the skateboard guy saw the sports car now that we know that there was a sports car. Let's do that and then we'll try and... Hey, where'd he go? Where's the skateboard guy? He's, he's gone. Okay, well maybe we can... Oh, no, there... Where the hell was that guy? Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. Nice board. Hey, it's not uh, just a board. It's uh, what you do with it. Ah, so I hear. Of course... Of course he comes out of a line like that. Yes, Don't suppose car. you saw a sports car in the area earlier. The red E-type Jag, you mean? Oh! Yes. Why did you notice it? I used to run one a little like it. Did you happen to get the registration number? Hey, there's only one set of numbers I like. And I'm not talking shoe size. Wow. Thanks. Anyway. This guy. I hope you catch the killer. I will. Okay, so we know it's an E-type Jag now. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. So, new information. Oh, it's so much easier when we know we can run. Bonjour. Yes. We know about the car. Did you see the E-type Jag that was in the area earlier? Yes, I did. I believe it belonged to the killer. And they say crime doesn't pay. <laughs> what can you tell me about it? It was parked illegally. I gave it a ticket. Nice. Great. Do you have the registration number? Uh, here it is. 451-CAC-75. Merci. Can you tell me anything else about the car? Hmm. You know, there was some kind of mask on the passenger seat. Ah. Mask? You mean, like, a child's mask? No, an old mask. The kind they wear in a the theater. Merci, madame. You've been a great help. It is but a courtesy from one professional to another. Of course. Okay, fine. Well... Sounds like the police are on their way. Ah. I would appreciate it if you kept our little conversation to yourself. You understand. Of course. I wouldn't want to blow your cover. Exactly. Right. By She's... the way, just who do you work for? Can I trust you? Of course. 
One day soon, the aliens will land. Right, okay. We are preparing to fight them. <laughs> okay. You may join us if you wish. That's a very kind of you. Uh, but I have to go now. Au revoir. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, fine. Y y y it's like the police are here. There has been a murder. We are questioning everyone in the area. What is your name? Nicole Collard. It's her, all right. Please come with us. Uh, of course, because we're going to match a description given by somebody, aren't we? And this is... Come on, speak up. Nicole Collard. Aha. The woman he had arranged to meet. She's a tough one, I think, sir. Like me to loosen her tongue a little? Not quite yet. Your identity card, please. My press card. A journalist. Typical. You have a problem with journalists? Only the spineless, lying, interfering variety. Looks right. like I'm in trouble then. <laughs> She's the murderer, monsieur! Lock her up before she kills us all! Control yourself, madame. I'm conducting an investigation here. And we're getting on so well. <laughs> How did you know the dead man? He contacted me through my paper. He wanted to meet. Why? Some nonsense about the end of the world. Why did you kill him? I didn't. But you admit you were here. He was already dead when I arrived. I broke in through the bedroom window. The killer was still here. And? We fought through there, in the kitchen. Then she ran off down the fire escape and I lost her. Hmm. There are certainly signs of a struggle. Yes, there are. Inspector. We. Oui? Uh, okay, let's ask some questions. How did you know Vernon was due to meet me? Your message on the answer phone. Ah, well done. Okay. The woman I fought was really a blonde. The neighbor said she had dark hair. Yeah, she's wearing a wig. She wore a wig. How oh, very convenient for you. <laughs> well, I've got the wig here. Here's the wig the killer wore. I'll take that as evidence. Where did you find it? Out there. Over the wall at the back of the apartment. Oh, I see. Out oh, Terrible. You've been framed. This guy's a jerk. Correct, Inspector. She's the killer. I saw her with my own eyes. Okay. Uh, Vernon? Have you any idea why he was killed? None at all. Perhaps it was to stop him talking to me. Not everybody rates journalists so highly, mademoiselle. Including you, apparently. I've got the number of the killer's car. My, you are being helpful. Are you quite sure you're a journalist? Do you want the number or not? Very well. 451 CAC 75. Thanks. All right, well, end of that Am I free to go? Don't let her get away! Shut up! The evidence is clear enough. I'm placing you under arrest, Mademoiselle Collard. <laughs> what? Officer, take her away. That seems it's very... Pleasure, sir. I mean, come on. It's like one person. What, what are you actually using as evidence, though? Okay, we're back as George. Nice. Um, in the cave where we saw that shooting, I guess. So, we're out of time, guys. We'll figure out what's going on here with George in the next one and see if we can get Nico out of jail. Um, lovely. Brilliant start to the game. I'm really enjoying it, I've got to say. It's 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 a solid game. I don't understand all the bad reviews so far, so I really like it. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.